Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Again, thanks for taking a couple of minutes and starting your day off in Scripture. We're almost to the end of 1 Peter. If you look at the next to the last verse, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 13, he's giving greetings. He says, She who is at Babylon, who is likewise chosen, sends you greetings, and so does Mark, my son. The first question is, who is the she and who is Babylon? Well, if you go back through and you begin to look at how the city of Rome is described, it's often described as Babylon. You'll find that in Revelation chapter 17 and Revelation chapter 18, where clearly it's talking about Rome, but it's it's a pagan capital, and there's a church, she, the church is often described as a she, it's a bride of Christ. So the church in Rome, who is also chosen, in other words, it's not just us. When you're in a local congregation, it's not just your congregation. When you're thinking about the problems that you're facing personally, it's never just your problem. I can tell you that other people are facing that or similar problems as well. So remember that other people are chosen as well as you. And he says, they send you greeting and so does Mark, my son. Mark is apparently the author of the Gospel of Mark and is related to Peter. If you remember, he went to Mark's mother's house when he was released by the angel from prison. That's where he went. So why is he his son? In the sense that he feels about him as a father feels about his own son. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's the actual father here any more than Babylon is the actual Babylon. But there's a church in Rome. That church is important. There is a boy, a man named Mark, and he is incredibly important to Peter. He had, uh, according to tradition, many responsibilities with Peter, including his interpreter. And he says, they send you greeting. I can tell you that you have brethren all over the world, and they're praying for you, too. Don't ever forget, you're not alone. Thanks for watching.